Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Today's project is a very simple filigree project using some scrap wood. Check it out. So what do you do with a really gnarly piece of wood like this? This is a piece of oak, and it's got all kind of defects. And while well, some might think that's not too attractive and just put this into the burn pile, I think it's very attractive and creates a lot of interest. So what I'm going to do today is make a belt holder. And I'm going to combine this applique with these hooks to come up with a very nice attractive project. So stick around and I'll show you how I do it. First thing, I've got a very uneven edge here, so I'm going to just clean this up on the joiner. So I want to put a scalloped edge on here like this. And I could do that with a bandsaw or a scroll saw, but I figured I'm going to get a perfect circle on the drill press. And I clamp this down and let's go. Now that we have the scallops in there, I'm going to go ahead and put a router bit in and make a cove on there. Okay, so I got the scallops in. I got to pick the gnarliest, gnarliest piece of wood, and I think I like this defect here, and I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to make this the face. I glue this top board on, measure the center lines of both. This is a great use of applique. This is actually the first time I've ever used an applique. But I saw this recently from my buddy Craig. And I think it just looks terrific, so... I'm using his idea. Okay, I gotta do a little cleanup with the glue and
the next step in the process, I off camera sprayed a couple coats of shellac on here. And this is what it looks like right now. And I'm gonna put some Johnson's Paste Wax on as a top coat and then apply the hooks. I don't really need a heavy duty finish on this. It's not gonna see a, it's not gonna see a lot of wear and tear. I'm just gonna be hanging my belts on this. So I'm just using a little four out steel wool and that'll knock down any roughness of the shellac. And I'll do that front and back. Whatever you do on the front, always do on the other side of the wood to keep it stabilized. So whenever I apply a film finish like varnish or shellac or lacquer, I always finish the finish with Johnson's Paste Wax. It gets it nice and smooth and gives it one added layer of protection. Here we are coming down home stretch, just applying the hooks. Getting excited now, about to be able to put it on the wall in my closet. So after assembling the hooks and putting the wax on, this is what it looks like. And now preparing to bring it up into my closet. So a little time lapse, taking down the old rack that I had and putting this up, just using some molly bolts in here. Looks like I need to get out some spackle, and hopefully I got a little bit of that paint left over. Here's what it looks like. Okie dokie, this sure is a nice home improvement project. I love this filigree. These filigrees are only about eight bucks at the uh, big box stores. And yeah, this is much better than the one I had. So, hey, that's the project. Put a hat on there. Hopefully this project gave you an idea what you can do with filigrees. Perhaps it inspired you to make one of your own. As you can see, it's a very nice project and very easy to make. Thanks for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. So until next time, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Bye-bye.